Happy Halloween, boys and ghouls. It's that time of year. My favorite season. It, it's, it's fall. It's I fall. love it. Yeah, you got your pumpkin spice? I have my pumpkin spice. You got your hat on again, I see. Always. I didn't know we were dressing up. I wanted to do a, a special video with my buddies here. A, a little thing I like to call slash or pass. It's very funny that you're hosting this considering your orientation. Well, my, my wrinkle to this is, uh, well, first of all, there are some, you know, ladies on this list. Oh, okay. So, you know, well, some of these characters- all murderers are men. Yeah, not all men. Hashtag feminist. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes, more women murderers. Have you ever watched the, what, what, what are those like true crime channels? Most of them are women. It's, <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. We're going to be going through some classic horror monsters slash slasher characters. Uh, you know, deciding slash or pass, and, and my additional little wrinkle, would you live against them or would you die? Oh no. Yeah, and I don't want to wear this thing the whole time because we are under studio lights and I'm wearing a goddamn hoodie. It's a, it's a thin hoodie, I like this hoodie, but we're starting off with one of my current favorite slasher characters, kind of like brought the genre back a bit for me. This is Art the Clown from Terrifier. Have either of you seen any of the Terrifier movies? There's only two right now. Terrifier? Terrifier. I barely know it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see these movies. Yeah, Past tense, see... friends tense, haven't seen them. You, you don't seen them. I don't seen them. Unfortunately, uh, I'm kind of with you on that. Okay. I have no idea who this motherfucker is. Okay, well, Art the Clown, uh, to put it uh, as, clo as close as possible, he he's a pretty typical slasher character with a few wrinkles. Uh, he, he does have that whole really difficult to kill slash might be immortal kind of thing going. I, I theorize that he's actually some sort of like eldritch being uh, okay. because he, he does some reanimator kind of shit. Uh, but he has really creative kill like really creative kind of kills. Like he uses a lot of improvised weapons. He walks around with like a Santa bag full of just murder tools. And then whatever he thinks is funniest, he will do. And he doesn't always kill. In fact, a lot of his victims end up alive, but just really wishing they weren't. Oh. If, if you're really into practical effects horror, I, I absolutely can't recommend these movies enough. I will be totally honest. At the beginning of this, I was going to say, I am of the, I love that. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning, I was going to say, I'm of the opinion that I would f a clown. I don't think I'd f this clown, but you actually sold me on him. I think I would f this clown now. Um, I like a man who's prepared. He's, he's a silly, silly, he's a silly little guy. I do oh, enjoy someone who is like, what is the funniest? And having a big bag, he would provide, he, he's, he's ready with lube. He's, he's got ready. that bag. In, in fact, yes, almost everything in his bag is currently wet. Sick, love yeah. a wet bag, I'll fuck this clown. wet garbage bag of tools. What uh, about you? I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass <laughs> very hard. I can't, I can't with all his I aesthetic. Sold his you on him. No, I, I must, I, I don't need the clissy. I don't need the clissy. Let's get some clum. Yeah, uh, the fact of the matter is, I, I, you know, he does, he has an amazing sense of humor. Uh, if you're, if you have a really dark sense of humor anyway. Wonderful. Uh, le legitimately, he plays it like Bugs Bunny. It's like whatever the, like whatever will take the scene to the next level, he's going to do that. Sick. Like he, he'll just like go, like mad off cap, just going crazy on some of this shit. Uh, kind of Freddy? Sort of like he, he never speaks. He is absolutely silent. Oh. oh. He's actually more of a mime than a clown, if that does change your opinion at all. Yeah. Uh, but he is like, I don't know. Like he, he brings such mirth to what he does. He's like this crazy eldritch trickster god that just loves to murder things. I love that. I love that for him. I like that he's clown mime hybrid. <laughs> he is who he is and he's not ashamed of it. That said, uh, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm dying to this dude. There's there's no way, like, he, he has like only mortal feats of strength. Like you could probably knock him down, take him out, but uh, he'll whip out a shotgun and blast you if he if he feels like he's having, if he feels like that's the funny conclusion. Like, oh no, I'm losing, I'm losing. Ha ha! I will die. Yeah. I think most of these fine folks I will die to, but definitely this oh, one. Oh yeah, almost all of them probably, but nah. E even, I... if, even if you do beat him, he's coming back. Like yeah. he's, he's also, his refractory period's real fast. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. Sick. Is yeah. the He's... trick to beating, beating him, though, making it funnier if he loses? The trick to beating him is like, uh, it's... you know, maybe. Because honestly, <laughs> like, the, the way the way we actually see him, like, eventually die is because he's like, okay, go. <laughs> and it's... I mean, he comes back after that because I think he knows everything, but... So maybe being a comedian gives you a leg up. Yeah, yeah. it's quite possible. 
That said, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm probably dying to him. Uh, another point something percent of the time, I'm going to get mutilated by him. And a point something percent time, I will get the upper hand, but then I'll, I'll still die later, probably. Okay. Next up, I did include some protagonists in this. Oh, you we did? We have Six. Ash Williams from the Evil Dead franchise. Oh, oh yeah, 100%. The, oh, yes. yeah, 100,000%, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Smash, like, he, he's, he's, on, he's on that gay pass list. Yeah, no, no, I will... <laughs> I will, I will <laughs> smash, I will smash every version of Ashley Williams. I don't care how crazy he gets. I'm down. Let's go. Uh, Evil Dead 2 Ash for me is peak, but... I mean, I feel like that's the same way for everybody, right? Well, some people would argue Army of Darkness. He actually got kind of jacked for that movie. Oh, uh, that's true. Going up against him? I wouldn't want to. Like, this, in the uh, extended Evil Dead universe, He'll find ways to beat things he has no re like no business beating. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, you can kill me, King. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely slay me, Bruce Campbell. <laughs> oh god. Okay, uh, gay icon the Babadook. Gay icon the Babadook. Well, he's is he in a relationship with Pennywise in this? Yeah, but they're scenario? poly. They're poly. Okay, Come on. Then. They they okay. kill they kill around. <laughs> Yeah. And you see, he's like, let me in. Like, you know, he's, <laughs> he's, oh, he's asking, asking That's for consent. No, 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 no. That is an exclamation okay, mark. Okay, true. He's that, demanding that's, consent, that's an exclamation so he's point. a dom. It's an exclamation <laughs> point, and that makes me a little concerned. I wanted to go through some, some of these uh, movies on the list so that I would have some context. I got like 15 minutes into this movie and was like, oh, The Babadook's actually really good. I didn't know this oh, yeah, movie Babadook. was actually oh, yeah. really good. Movie. Really good. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I saw, okay, I saw the dog. I saw how fun they were playing with the dog and I paused the movie. I was like, I'm gonna be distracted. I need to find out if the dog dies. I cannot, I can't watch this movie until I know. Does the dog die .com. Yes, the, the first time I've ever gone to that website, I'm that, glad that it is. That is honestly a very important site <laughs> for a lot of these characters. Yeah. If that is a make or break for you. Yeah, but I do, while I respect the Babadook, I don't think I would smash. Can I can I get the second picture of the Babadook up here? Huh? That happy face? That I happy guy? I don't like how he seems like an ex that will just stalk you afterwards, you know what I mean? Because I read a synopsis of the movie and he's like, like here's the thing, and she tries to get rid of it. And he's like, duh, 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 and then she tries to get rid of it again. And he's like, he keeps coming back, and I that's the vibe that I'm not cool with. I think we'd hook up and then he'd just keep texting and texting and texting, you know. Oh yeah, no, 100 percent He he likes things on Facebook, and it's like, why are you doing that? We're, we don't even yes. talk anymore. He'll go back a year oh. previous of your status updates and like every photo and like every status, and you're like, oh no. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he just liked something like from two years ago on my Instagram. Oh, beach day, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I would also pass on the Babadook. That said, live or die, I think I'd live, because he's, he's yeah. an allegory for grief. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty good at handling that sort of psychological sh Yeah, honestly, with how they handle the Babadook at the end of the movie, you know, I'm like, you know what, I think if I was realistically in a horror movie, I think I could defeat the Babadook if we're going by these principles. Couldn't yeah. even kill a kid. Just yeah, <laughs> right, because she's just a mom and he's just a boy. So yeah. like, I think this is realistically something I could defeat. And he yeah. makes stock dragon sound effects, so. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, that's the pass for me. Oh, the stock it, dragon it, it sound effects? It might have been, been okay, but the moment I heard that sound effect, I'm like, Ooh. nah. <laughs> but I, you're a furry. <laughs> yeah, and I'm better than that. Are there uh, Babadook yeah. furries? No. Okay. Well, um, so would you fuck a dragon? Okay, look, if a dragon made that noise, they get they, they get the pass. Okay, okay but not they, the Babadook who was yeah, making dragon yeah, noise in my temple. I'm just gonna... That's yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> I remember watching the movie and it was like, this is so good, this is so good, this is so good. And then yeah, we saw, we saw it on my birthday, like, when it came out. And then that sound effect happened. And like, then oh, no. the movie went from a 9.5 to a 9 instantly just because of that yeah. one, that one sound stock effect. sound effect I that I've been hearing since the 90s. I don't understand who thought that was a good idea. I don't understand. I, I, yeah, I, I totally get that because when I'm watching a movie and it's really good and then I hear the Wilhelm scream, immediately I'm like, I'm taken out. It has, it, it, it has its time. Yeah. yeah. Like, if it's in a comedic scene, I'm mostly okay. Yeah. Well, for me, it just takes me out of it, where I'm like, I'm, I'm sub submerged. That's not the word. Emerged. Yeah, immersed. 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 Aha! Immersed. Uh -huh. immersed. I'm an English major. Uh, I should know that. Immersed in a film, and it's okay for like, like comedic stuff. But, you know, if 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 you're having sex with someone and you hear and the Wilhelm scream <laughs> noise, yeah, it's 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 over. The dragon or the Wilhelm scream during sex is a no go for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my noise, babe. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I do. <laughs>
Yeah. All right. Move on on the subject of Nick's birthday. Oh yeah, it's we Nick's are birthday. we are recording this on my birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It'll be three to four weeks later when you get this video, guys. Yeah. So and which then the be... related ones, I guess. I don't yes. Know. Happy birthday. And then um, my birthday is October twenty eighth, and Nick's, oh, so you, so Nick's you might, is, yeah, 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 exactly a month it'll apart. Be Jesse's birthday. Yeah, yeah. We might be posting this on Jesse's birthday. That's yeah. amazing. It's funny that we have like a month apart. Nick's is the uh, September twenty eighth. Mine is October twenty eighth. So that's why I always remember your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, this... Why did we go from that to this? They, they have very similar teeth. Uh, this is Belial Bradley from the movie Basket Case. It's a bit of a B movie. Uh, de definitely like a cult B classic. The concept is this is uh, the main character, main characters, uh, it's kind of like Siamese twin brother who got cut off at birth, but oh. he survived. Oh. So he carries him around in a basket oh. and his brother, just really loves eating people's faces and choking them to death. Oh. In the sequel, they find a bunch of other uh, people of similar persuasions and keep them in an attic. And it's, you know, it's, 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 a, it's an interesting duology for these movies, uh, but I needed to put him in here because he has such a distinctive look. Now, is he just a head or does he have productive he has, organs? He has, like, he has like wiggly arms. Uh, ah. you can see he's got hands there. Uh, Unclear on the genitalia part, honestly, uh, as, as far as my very long ago watching of the Basket Case movies it recalls. Uh, they, he is not anatomically correct in any of the shots, if you're asking that. Okay. So. I'm going to pass. Man, really? Stuff. Oh, man, that's just like, hand you know, stuff. That's, you know, that's really ableist of you, Jesse. I'm you're right. I am. <laughs> Listen, I think um, I wish him well. I think I don't want to have a, I don't want to get a hand job with flippers. Is my I'm not a furry, and that doesn't sound yeah, really. And to mouth me. stuff doesn't seem very fun without lips and with those teeth. Yeah, too much teeth. I got nothing for this. <laughs> the moment this came I up, I didn't look at your face this whole time, and I turned to you, and you just looked so miserable, You're so concerned. <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, like, honestly, there was a joke that I initially wanted to make when you said that he eats people's faces and then chokes them to death, and I'm like, oh, so he sucks face and chokes? I'm in, but I can't. I, 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 this Look, is... there's a line somewhere. Yeah, and I've, uh, yeah. Uh, mm. I think I'd be able to kick the shit out of it, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think so too. I, I think so. I think on its it, own, it gets, is it... it gets you by surprise, and like you know, if it does end up like chomping on you, that's just gonna hurt. But like, if if it's just one v one. You know, I, I encountered that thing in a dark alley. Uh, I, I could probably punt him pretty far. If I had a yeah. flamethrower, that would be um, the best. I think I could I could do with a bat. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> the Candyman. Mm. Um. Uh, Tony mm. Todd. Uh, yeah. The, the caveat is he he does he he does have a hook for a hand, and he is full of bees. So uh, th there there's your caveat for the Candyman. But it is Tony Todd. He's got that voice. He's hot. I no. I, I, His entire thing is just him being very seductive to this one, the, like you know whoever the main character of whichever movie is. He's just he's all about that. Like he's. And he helps the working class. He does. Does he come bees? Unclear, but maybe. Might come honey. Hmm. The, that coming. Yeah, coming. Gummies, daddy. Uh. <laughs> Just the fact that it's Tony Todd. He, uh, oh my God, Tony Todd just got that amazing voice. You hear him in so many horror movies just because he, he's, ooh, he's got, he's got that silky smooth voice. Uh, the, the hook seems a little painful, but his entire like deal in the entire first movie is just, he's fine, you know? He's fine. I mean, look. Full he's, of bees. He's <laughs> immediately hot as balls. Uh, but, al but also, um, <laughs> the bees are a concern. Now, the bees are not an immediate concern in whether or not they're going to harm me. Actually, most bees are very docile. I don't know if he controls the bees. Does he control the bees yeah. to make them attack people? Is he I like mean, Jupiter's ascending? It, 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 they're all inside him. So what you're uh, saying is I'm not doing any penetrating because I do not want bees on my dick. I just don't want you don't, bees. You don't need, you Why don't not? Need that, yeah. I don't need dick bees, okay? But... That being said, if that man comes, honey, that might just push it over the edge for me. Okay. One for the hive. <laughs> one for the hive. Take one for the hive. Surviving wise, what do you think? Because I've never seen the movies. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, basically, his entire shtick is uh, he's, he's kind of got the same 
uh, urban legend as like Bloody Mary. You say his name a certain number of times, he appears, and then he just kind of starts killing people. Right, because uh, there was like, a remake that came out recently, right? Yeah, so he's kind of like more of a vengeful spirit kind of deal where it's very hard to defend against that kind of thing because you can't really physically interact with him. You can't really fight him off, and he just like jabs that hook in you. You're kind of done. I, I, I'm not surviving the candy man. Mm, I, also, fair. because I don't think I could take Tony Todd in his prime. I will say, if you say that you can't survive any of these guys, I'm gonna just assume I won't be able to. Well, you, you is... like, I mean, you might have like, you know, the edge of actually being the person that he's courting. So, ah, mm -hmm. you know, follow up question: Would he try to kill you? Uh, it depends on how much I've pissed off whoever he's courting. So oh. probably. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, funny enough, I uh, was viewing these at first with like, realistically, would I be able to kill this man? But now I'm thinking about it in terms of horror logic, where how, if I yeah, was... Can you survive? It's not can yeah. you fight them, it's can you survive? I think for the course of what a horror movie is, I think I would survive. I'd be the last boy, if that makes sense. Yeah. If they're putting like a trans guy in a <laughs> horror movie and having this be like the, the trope of like last girl, you know what I'm saying? I think I'd survive, yes, not I'm out of sorry. skill. I'm sorry, yeah. you are immediately likable and funny. Uh -oh. oh no! They know you. Yeah. That's because right. Because it hurts. That's true. Well, you know what? If but, we you wanted... would, but you would make it pretty far. I would make it pretty far. You would get like halfway through the movie. I you, think uh, I would. And you do have the potential of being the surprise survivor. Like, oh, you thought they had him, but yeah, yeah. oh, there he is. Or I you make it like... to the sequel and then they kill you. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah for, your like first a, kill in the sequel. We could do like a cabin in the woods thing, where I I die, but then I'm actually not dead, and, and then I show up at the end. Everything. But... Yeah. Except cabin in the woods ends with everyone dying. So... Let's not think about that. No, it's, everything's about that. everything's fine. You know, don't watch the last five minutes of the movie and everything's great. Um, <laughs> Chucky, oh the original good guy. Look yeah. at that, look at that. Yeah. Look Canonically f***s. Canonically f***s and yes. comically correct and has the goods. Do we see? <laughs> he is an ally, Jen the Fluid. Also an ally, Jen the Fluid. He's got yep. a trans kid. Um, I wouldn't. I'm sorry, Chucky. I think he's he's funny. Yeah, uh, I love the Chucky, like the, the Child's Play movies are great and the, I like the show even. I just... I just wouldn't f Chucky, I don't think. Yeah, I'm, it's it's the look. Yeah, I can't get past it. There's no, even Wait, if, Okay, which look do you prefer? The scarred up one or the- No. One? The one where he looks like a okay, child. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, gun, gun to your head, which one do you prefer though? The bullet. Doesn't he have? Well, that, you know, ready. fair. Look at him. Good call. He's ready, he's got a hand ready and everything. He's, he's up He's ready. It. I got that I got that kung fu grip. And yeah, and he's gonna whisper in your ear like worm tongue, like you know, just. <laughs> the weird thing is, if you go by that Chucky show, the one that came after, he's almost sort of like his personality-wise. He's kind of hot in a weird way. Yeah, he gets more appealing as the movies and the show go on. Like at the start, I mean, also, it definitely wouldn't. By the end, I'm like, oh maybe. Right? I don't know. It's so, also, so weird. Yeah, Jen. Well, yeah, Jennifer Tilly's awesome. Jennifer Tilly's great. And yeah. uh, I mean. As you see, like as in, in Cult of Chucky onward, as he has put himself into more and more doll bodies, they all have their own different, distinct personalities too that they start developing. So, I hadn't considered uh, so, that. So you would not play hide the soul with the Chuck. Mm -mm. You don't fuck with the Chuck. Nope. Mm. Uh, that I'm not. I'm not down for the for the five year old real doll. Oh, those <laughs> words just left my mouth. How about you, Jesse? I would not fuck. Okay. But I don't know about survive. I, I think I could survive. I could survive early Chucky, easy. Mm. Early Chucky, I could very easily survive. But once Chucky starts actually, you know, setting up traps and being very conniving and also having a bunch of bodies, that gets harder. You know what I just considered in the Chucky show, he's in a female body, mm. right, at the end. She's hot though. I'm gonna say I could beat Chucky. All right, yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't beat Chucky, but, but you could beat him. I, I, yeah, I, I, I'll I, beat him off, but I won't beat him off. I will beat this child. <laughs> Gender fluid. This is the creeper from Jeepers Creepers. Uh, oh. The Tongue. director did some really scummy shit, so I'm not, I'm not really going to address that. We're simply talking mm. about the character from Jeepers Creepers. Gotcha. The movie franchise. His uh, face where... almost looks like one of those dogs, like a bloodhound. Oh, yeah, yeah, like floppy. The gals. Does he not have skin? Is that what's happening here? It, it, he has like kind of necrotic flesh. His entire oh, okay. deal is that 
that every X amount of years, despite the fact that the sequels just kind of came out randomly whenever the fuck they wanted, uh, he would come back in order to consume the flesh of the living in order to replace the body parts that he needed to replace. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So he's, he's kind of got that ghoul thing going. So he's like a billionaire with lots of money to yes. keep rejuvenating his This skin. man loves to stay young. I, I need a son to take his blood. Yeah, he... Uh, this, this man is making homemade <laughs> adrenochrome. <laughs> Uh, nearly impossible to kill, but the, he's got really expressive eyes and very happy face, you know? Look, I like his fashion style, but otherwise, oh. Look at the joy! <laughs> I love he's a man with hobbies. Mark. Yeah, no, I mean... <laughs> you, you, would, you would not, I, I certainly would not. He's, he's, I wouldn't yeah. smash. Nah, he nah. probably He probably has a smell to him, I think, that would just be oh, off-putting in general. Yeah, yeah 100%. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot imagine that he smells or... Yeah. And I would Good. fuck the reanimated corpse. Shoot. If we can wash the cavemen, we can wash the reanimated corpse. I would fuck Frankenberry. <laughs> <laughs> this this corpse. Yeah, this, this this one. Yeah, Frankenberry at least like you know the smells of fruity cereal. I would think. Yeah. Uh, and and he's got good. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get that cereal milk, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, live or die. He's, he's, if he if I am this thing's target, I'm dead. Like it's uh, it's it's superhumanly strong, and has been shown to be able to regenerate from nearly any damage that has been done to it. Oh uh, well, okay then. We're dead. I would die early in the movie. I we die. Oh, Freddy, uh, what's up? <laughs> okay, in the dreams, can he change his uh, appearance? Yes, he is a shapeshifter. Okay, in, in yes. dreams. Yep. Yeah, I'd fuck him. I'd fuck him 100. Yeah, if he's, we're, he's absolutely a shapeshifter. He does that all the goddamn time. Yeah. Look, if we're if we're both down to clown in this instance, if we're both like looking at like, so you're, let's look, you're looking for that wet dream. I'm, yeah. yeah, I won't lie. The wet mare. Like, look, a guy. Like wet mare on the street. There we go. Found it. Found it. Go. Somebody. Some. There we go. Yeah, double. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was magical. Yeah. That was organic and beautiful. Silent but posing. <laughs> That's a thumbnail. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, but like, there is a thing, like, with uh, a, like a psychic character or a character that can shape shift, it always goes up the list almost immediately. Because then it's like, we can do shit no normal people can do, and I am into that. Yeah, we, we've seen that he can change the proportions of his body at will in dreams. Uh, he can turn to look like whoever you, like, he wants to look like. I mean, they're almost always wearing the same sweater or a hat, but. <laughs> I'll deal. Would that be, <laughs> yeah, that'd be hot, I think, in bed, like, physically. <laughs> well, he, he is often associated with fire as well, despite the fact mm. that uh, Jason versus Freddy makes fire his weakness. It, it's it's weird. You were, you were starting to sell me on the, you know, I hadn't considered the shapeshifter aspect, but, like, I don't know. I don't think I would, for some reason. I think something is hanging me up, even though he could change. I think the personality underneath would still be a little... I wouldn't be able to get hard knowing that this is who is underneath, not because of physical appearance, yeah, but because, because, he's a because he's a, <laughs> he is a predator, right? No, I haven't seen the movie. He's a predator. 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 Yes. But is he a predator? Yes, yeah, uh, absolutely. Dress, well, it actually- his crimes when he was alive. It, well, ah. it actually really depends on what continuity you're going with. <laughs> right. In the original Let's run- Let's defend him. <laughs> through, uh, in like the original run, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street through Freddy's Dead, don't watch the last few. Uh, he, like, there's some implication that maybe he was doing something with the kids, but it, like, you know, they either skirt around it or don't address it. In that, he's only a child murderer. Uh, in oh. the remake, he is, in fact, a child molester. Oh, uh, no! Yeah, that so is... So, worst case, he yeah, no, you get, children. But this guy is not remake Freddy. Freddy. Yeah, this guy's not remake Freddy. This isn't the Rorschach guy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pass. Pa pass on both? I already look so young. <laughs> that's that's. If fair. we match on Grinder, I'm a little suspicious. Uh, oh, that sells me. Li liver, liver die. In terms of Freddy, uh, the only weakness he really has is if you forget he exists or choose like you know not to remember him. That is the only way he fades from existence. Oh. oh. So. That's so interesting. Yeah. Uh, odds are he'd probably kill me in one of those uh, wet dreams turned murder. I didn't have a whole lot of knowledge of horror stuff until I think like. Three or four years ago, I had a fainting condition that got um, that was bad, so that I just didn't watch horror movies. But then it got better um, more later in my life, so I've been able to watch horror stuff. And so I saw Pennywise, heard his story, and was like, "Oh, that's a really unique like mechanism for like you know horror stuff." So I didn't know there was someone else that kind of has 
yeah, it's, it's, lore. A very, it's a very similar thing. I mean, there's yeah. other things you can do to kind of combat him. Uh, in the first one, you can, you know, if you're holding on to him and you wake up, you can pull him into the real world, at which oh. point he's just a dude with knives on his hands. That's so uh, cool. But killing him in the real world doesn't seem to do a whole hell of a lot because he just comes back. Oh. Uh, in the second one, he takes over a person's body. The second one's a surreal movie, honestly. And in the third one, if you have psychic powers, you might be able to fight him. But, yeah, become you know. a dream warrior. Yeah, just be a dream warrior. Honestly, might be the best nightmare movie. I don't think I'd survive him. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I don't think any of us would survive Freddy, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, next up, Ghostface from Scream. Uh, this is an odd one because there are what, like eight different ghost faces? Nine? How possible are the individual ghost faces? I want to note that, and I know this because I am friends with a lot of freaks. Uh, shout out to all my freaks out there. Freaks. Um, this dude gets a lot of point in time. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a positive. Lot. Like, I have no way to confirm that without talking about my browser history, but I, I agree. Yeah, no. Like, also, the first two ghost faces, absolutely down to fuck guys. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh. 100%. Which well, one? At least, at least yeah. well, they're, they're down. One of them's way more into it. Yes, Shaggy. Mm. Shaggy. Shaggy was yeah. in. I will, uh, yeah, I'll fuck all the ghost faces, I think. I don't know anything about them because I've literally never seen a Scream movie. You never saw the first one? Nope. Wow. Oh. Here's the thing, when I was a kid, I was scared of horror movies. Then when I, in a brief period in my teens, I started getting really into them, but I never saw Scream because it always kind of seemed hokey to me. Nah, man. Scream is probably one of the ones you'd like the most. Oh yeah, no, as an adult, I feel like everything I've heard about Scream, screams that I would probably enjoy the movie. Yeah. Scream is good, Scream 2. Also pretty good, maybe not quite as good. Scream 3, you skip that one. Scream 4, okay. 5 and 6 though are great. Yeah, I hear the latest ones are actually like, good, good? Yeah. So I'm, I'm curious about that. Uh, that said, this was like, when I, when I was coming up with this list, this is the first one on the list where I'm like, I fucking, like, I, I win. Because Ghostface is getting his ass kicked everywhere in all of these movies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, the, the trick to Ghostface is they're usually an ambush killer though. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I could survive. Yeah, because they are just got like people, you know. Yeah. Like, if here's the thing, like in a room with them, maybe. Like, if you see them coming, if yeah. you see them coming, I'm winning. Maybe I'm. I'm just gonna say maybe I could. I got. I, I'm not gonna put that money. I haven't seen the f films, so. I, I, I could take like probably seven of the nine ghost faces. Okay. Hannibal Lecter. <sighs> so here's the thing. If I know he's not going to eat me, he's Anthony Hopkins, and I don't care if he's playing a character. Still Anthony Hopkins. In, in his prime, mind you. In his prime. And he's hot. He's he's really hot. In this role, he, he's, he's really hot. He's very intelligent. He's cultured. Uh, as long as you don't do anything to offend his sensibilities, he, you're, he's not going to kill you. Yeah, and even if you do, as long as you're like apologetic about it, as long as you're like, nah. oh, well. <laughs> I mean, sometimes. Like, he can get really petty about who he wants to it's kill. It's true, it's true. Uh, especially know. if you watch the show. Uh, oh. yeah. I'd fuck both of the Hannibals, <laughs> the, yeah. the, the show ones. I, I, I He's do, hot. I, yeah, I do, I, hear I do have the Mads Mikkelsen one on here somewhere. Well, here he is. He's Look, hot. It's Mads Mikkelsen. You would fuck him. There he is. Yeah, it's true. Also super gay. Super gay in the show. In, in, in the, the show, show very yeah. much so, yeah. That, mm -hmm. that show, yeah. Yeah, I, I would with, I, I think I would with Hannibal Lecter. Again, under the strict conditions that he is not going to eat a part of me. I think, I, th Anyway, uh, I, I, I think he'd convince me is the thing. Like, he, he's, yeah. he's a charming dude. Mm -hmm. He loves to gaslight. Oh, yeah. Gaslight gatekeep. Girl boss. <laughs> I am... Bad relationship. Maybe good one time. Yeah. I, I'm very tempted to have my answer be yes, but also I saw, I saw that one scene from American Psycho where he's go... That, not him, but like another character. We'll get Christian there. Bale or whoever is going down. And then all of a sudden he comes up and then there's blood on his face and I've been scared of someone eating my penis ever since. So I <laughs> <laughs> just got the damn thing. I just got it. You got it. They, I got to get a receipt and then <laughs> you can reimburse me. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm more no just because of that, but he's so hot. Anthony Hopkins is so hot. Yeah. Live or die. I think he'd outsmart me if we're going by like TV. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm, I feel I'm, like. I'm, I'm, I'm too boorish. Uh, if, if I were in a if I were in a social situation with him, not that I feel like we'd ever be in the same circles, mm. uh, I'd probably do something stupid. Uh, and he's the kind of guy where, if I don't know he's Hannibal Lecter, the you know cannibal killer, 
I'm not going to be able to see the shit coming when he like you know doses me with a like uh, knockout drug or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. All right. Wholeheartedly no. Okay. This is this Who's is this? one. This is one of the. This is Jason Voorhees as he first really appears. Oh. Uh, that's Jason from Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. That's what he's got on under the mask there. Uh, and there, there he is in his more like classic look. Although I think this is from the remake. Um, but still, that's you know the hockey mask. You, everybody knows Jason. I, yeah. I didn't know what he looked like under the mask. I would I would he's, fuck him. He's, he's Elephant Boy, basically. I would I was going to say that I'll fuck him with the mask. So I guess I will fuck him, even though I've seen what he looks like without the mask. You know what? I'm, yeah. yeah. He's he's a big dude. Like he's he's always portrayed as like you know six four or taller. Big yeah. guy. The, I I don't know. There's there's a part of me that just it's look. There's a world where this is hot, but I don't think I'm living in it. <laughs> Not, I'm not, living not in Jason, it and it's great. Not a Jason guy, huh? <laughs> he's like he's like the most bearish, I think, of all. Oh of yeah, I, I know, I know. But here's the thing: he, this is obviously a man who doesn't take care of himself. Like you can look at his. I hair. mean, he's decomposing in a lake most of the year. So. Yeah, I know. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, look. Sometimes he's his mom. Yeah, he well, he, well, he's he's never is his mom, but he I does know, he I does know. love his mom. Like his this, mom. This, this, he's a mama's boy. Yeah, no, that actually just takes it down for me. Nah, oh. I'm, I'm gonna say nah. I'm gonna say nah. You heard it now. Scott only fucks guys who hate their moms. Get a get out there if and you, if you got mama <laughs> issues, then <laughs> be mean to your mom and you'll be fuckable. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I also would not fuck Jason. Not, not, <laughs> not remotely my type. As for like live or die with Jason, that's a tough one. He would absolutely overpower me, and he is nigh impossible to kill. He killed me. Yeah. The jigsaw, jigsaw. man. Nah. Okay. Uh, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't fuck Tobin Bell? Nah. Cancer what cancer a cancer riddled Tobin Bell. <laughs> what if it was his make a wish? <laughs> look, 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 look. If if the only way out of my death is fuck him, sure. Unfortunately, I want to play a game. <laughs> I have one butthole and you have to <laughs> I'm gonna say something fucked up, okay? But before I say this, I'm autistic. So <laughs> I think this character is very autistic coded. He has a black and white sense of thinking. He has an extreme sense of justice. I think we could bond over that. He also has a brain tumor. He also has a brain tumor. Which also could affect his way of thinking. I think I would fuck him out of pity, and I think we'd have some lovely conversations. I mean- <laughs> Then he'd die. But before he goes full psycho, he does seem like a pretty nice dude. Just kind of, you know, Re really, <laughs> as soon as his wife gets hit by that door, something just shifts in him. Yeah. And I, I haven't seen socks yet, but uh, socks. socks. Clearly, he's got something going on after you know people trick him into thinking they cured his cancer. Which you know that's kind of a shitty thing to do, yeah. all things considered. Unrelated to this, I fucking love how they have been tricking us with the Saw trailers lately, where you're watching a trailer and you have no idea what you're watching, and then all of a sudden it's like Saw. Where like one of the previous ones, they're like, someone's killing cops, da da da. And I'm like, what oh, yeah. movie Spiral. is this? Yeah, then it's like, saw. And then now this one, it's like a happy-go-lucky, like we're gonna help cure your cancer. And then saw, it, I, I fucking love it. Keep doing it, saw makers. If you're gonna make more movies, trick me. It, like it's re legitimately funny every time. <laughs> I haven't seen any of the saw films. <laughs> I saw, oh, no. They're you, wild. You, you know the concept. Though, yeah, right? well, I've I've seen a ton of scenes from them. Yeah. I think I've seen most of one. Uh, but no, I've I've seen clips. I've heard whole plot synopsis of several movies. Mm. Uh, people I watch do, do reviews or like cover the Saw films for one reason or another. So I know more about the Saw films than I do about like a lot of the other horror films on this list. Yeah. I think if you so, go into it with like, this is gonna be silly, you'll like it, because we all watch Malignant together. Yeah. And, oh. um... <laughs> I, Malignant was so good, mm -hmm. it was so good. Megan is also good. Oh yeah, I've seen Megan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I honestly do prefer the uh, R-rated version. I felt like, oh man, yeah. I really wish yeah. we could have gotten. Like, I didn't see uh, it because like I saw it in theaters and I was like, I don't want to watch it again. But I heard there's more blood. Now, nah, as as for live or die, th this is a tricky one because uh, first of all, you have to do something bad enough for him to want to put you in a trap. But let's yeah. just assume you have. Let's just assume we're all awful, awful people. He always offers a way out. Like, like if it's just Jigsaw Jigsaw doing this and not yeah. his absolutely okay. more yeah. psychotic protege, who I can't remember her name. <clears throat> if it's him that's putting in the trap, God, 
Okay. It's, it's more of a question of what you're willing to do to yourself in order to survive. Exactly, if it's any yeah. eye shit, like if I have to dig past my eye, I don't think I could do that. I think I'd pass out is the problem. Like I might be willing to do the eye shit, but I would faint. Like I just wouldn't be, I would die because I would faint and not be able to complete it in time. It's hard to make me like pass out from, like I, I have a relatively high pain tolerance as far as I'm aware. Uh, you know, I've never been tested. I haven't had to like cut open my own flesh at any point in time, but I, I feel like once I get used to a certain amount of pain, as long as I can grit my teeth through it, yeah. uh, I, I think there is a probably 70% chance I live. This, it's a coin flip for me. It depends on the challenge. Depends on like what what he's asking. Yeah. I, I have no idea. That one, this one is way more hypothetical, like way more nebulous. Because his punishment always fits the crime, and you like you have to think to like what's the worst thing I've ever done, and what's what kind of punishment would you receive from that? Yeah. I'd be if I had to live in order to do it, I could do stuff with needles because I give myself a shot every week, and that was very easy for me to get. So used odds to. are he probably wouldn't do something with needles. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he would do research. He would. He'd be like, I yeah, know. He's a, he's a sociopath. This, so, yeah. So what if? And I, and I want to also bring up that he like. Didn't he just like someone was like just doing drugs and he's like that's bad enough you have to He's yeah, autistic yeah, he... coded you can't say that stuff <laughs> He, he, he does do some pretty petty shit sometimes. Very, like, like, very subjective. I'm autistic and a minor. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's very petty sometimes, like when he's, he's just try, when, he's, when he's just trying to test things out. Yeah, weirdly conservative. He's like, you, you are gay married, therefore you will have to. That's, that's how I see Jake, so he's a conservative asshole. He, he is a little conservative. I remember some of those kills, some of those choices. Isn't but you never saw any of the movies. I, I told you I've heard whole synopsis of several movies. The dude's all about like socialized medicine. Uh. <laughs> I don't know where you're coming from on like, look, maybe some of his, uh, maybe some He's of his views. Socially conservative. Yeah, there you go. Yes, King. This is Kakihara. I'll do it. And I, okay. Ooh, hold on, wait. <laughs> I don't know anything about this man. I'll do it. Uh, do you want to I'll do it. I'll he do. is the antagonist from a movie called, well, and manga, I guess, called Ichi the Killer. I put this in here specifically for Tyler. Uh, he and I have both seen the movie. Uh, I guess to give him context, he's like, what if Jared Leto's Joker, but unironically? Like, he is, he's just a sadomasochist. Like, he, he's all about pain. Yeah. Yeah, no, this dude is, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> And, and, and hey, look, I'm a freak. That's too freaky. Yeah, get, that get, is... Can we go back to the other picture? Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is the sexy one I chose of him, but. Yeah, yeah. He's so hot, but I, yeah, I, don't, I don't like a lot of pain inflicted on me. I'll do it to other people, but. Uh, he'll take that. Yeah? Yeah, he'll take that. He's, he's, he's about that life, uh, but he will dish it back in ways that you will not appreciate. As long yeah. as he doesn't eat my penis. He might cut your nipples off. Mm, uh, uh, I've already had to endure that. <laughs> <laughs> I've dealt with that. Uh, I would not f*** him, but he is f***able. He is, okay, look. Like, he's, he's crazy, he's... He is, he is weirdly hot, but I would not f*** him. I would not f*** him at all. I keep thinking he's playing a harmonica and he's gonna do the Blues Travelers <laughs> fucking <laughs> solo. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had to put him on here. Uh, Live or die, I got like two weight classes on this motherfucker. I think I think I could beat him in a stand-up one-on-one, but if he gets the jump on me, I'm done. Yeah, here's the here's the real problem. This man is unconventional, crazy, unhinged. Yeah, absolutely a, insane. Yeah. And he's got goons. Yeah, you want to talk about in a fight? You'll never, you might not see what this guy, like, he'll put himself at risk that you might not yeah. just to hurt you. That's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's willing to take pain in order to get the killing blow. Like, yeah. he's, he's that psycho. Yeah. I think I could do some damage to him if I had a knife or something, but again, he's, I, I understand the vibe of him just taking the knife and then it's still like stabbing doing it things. somewhere where it's not fatal and just being like, oh yeah, yeah. and then like just going at you. Yeah, that's, that, that's I don't the think difficult I'd part. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't survive. <laughs> yeah, probably not. That guy's a, that guy's a freak. I, I, th I, think, I think I got a 60% chance, again, just due to the weight class. Right. 69%. Oh yeah. Bubba. Nope. Leatherface nope. from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hey, I, I had him in his Sunday best there too. Nope, nope, nope. No, Dressed no, all no, nice no, for no, you. No, no, no. no. Absolutely suits. no. What date if, okay, brings us? You know, if there was anybody more bearish than Jason, it's Bubba. Yeah, and still super duper no. You don't want to hear? That's my noise. Yeah, that is. That, yeah, that. 
That is how that would go. That's exactly the noise. I hate that you're right, but you are right. <laughs> Again, you like it's another kind of guy where you look at him, you kind of know what he smells like too. Uh, oh yeah. Also, I'm not sure there would be like uh, let, hmm. he could wear a different face. He's mentally not all there. <laughs> He's mentally not all there. I like that he wore a suit and nice makeup. <laughs> all, that but... all that made me think of was like, uh, oh, what, what was it? Uh, a big mouth. The dumb ones plow oh, harder. <laughs> I like that he made an effort, but I'm going to pass sadly. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. I, I, I also would not, uh, probably not. Although that might be your only way of survival. Like if, if like, you know, just flirting with him and getting him on your side. Seducing. Not necessarily, not yeah. If you seduce Bubba, you might, you, you might actually get out of there. I think he would send me some nice messages on Grindr with grammatical errors. I will say this. I'd f him to live. I would, I'd love. I would like, absolutely f him to live. Yeah, no, if it were down to live or die, he f me. Okay, let's go. I, I, you know what? I'm, I'll do it. Hold your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going down. <laughs> We're going in. I would not, and I would also probably die. He yeah. is a big, big guy. He has a hammer and a chainsaw. I would die to, I might be able to outrun him. That's what I was just thinking, because I'm fa I'm small, but I'm fast, because I was a cross-country runner. And so sprinting-wise, if I had to survive, I think I could outrun him, because also things that I've seen is he's, he's big, and he also has that... He's swinging that thing, so I could outrun him. But if he gets to me, I'm done. He is. He's kind of fast, though. Yeah. The dude. The dude's got a lot of muscle. He's kind of like a linebacker with a fucking chainsaw. It's. Mm. Cr it's. He's crazy. He's also Man. stupid, though. He's cut himself a number of times. You know, no, yeah. He is also clumsy. He's. I could juke him out. But yeah. Nope. The Leprechaun nope. Warwick Davis. Like you could have a pint with him. I mean, we weren't even gonna f Lucky the Leprechaun. Yeah. Sorry to our tiny Irish fans. <laughs> Sorry. So I don't think we would go this direction. Hey! He's got some hey, you all wanna f me? Come on! Come on! Why, why, a, why is he from Brooklyn now? Is it, is it because Irish. I. Is it because I. Chose New York me? Irish! Hey, look at me! Hey! Oh! <laughs> He's Zito now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what Zito sounds like. Yeah, that's all he does. Uh, <laughs> I, I, is it because I specifically chose the one from In the Hood? Uh, I, I didn't know. I, he just, he's just making a funny gesture. Yeah. No, I, I also would not f uh, the leprechaun. I, he, look, he looks like he's... He needs to moisturize. I'm not He does need it. to moisturize. He, he, is, he is like over a thousand years old. So, you know, like he's got that going for him. Here in this picture, though, he's, 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 he's having a celebration. He's just having a Guinness. Yeah. Oh, hey, how you doing? I saw you across the bar and I loved your vibe. <laughs> Uh, he's actually not far off. <laughs> you, you are not far off. I did eat it all. Yeah, he, he does do the whole Irish thing. Like whenever I whenever I hear him, I think about gin from you, you Hawker Show. Just or oh, look at that. Oh gosh, oh, you got one of me gold pieces. I'm gonna take it out your arse, <laughs> kind of deal. Uh, yeah, he, Scott's, Scott's face is just like the Irish fans are gonna be so upset. <laughs> I hit me with it. Hit me with it. We apologize to all of our tiny Irish fans. Shalali. I'm sp I'm specifically doing the leprechaun thing. I, I I know how actual Irish people talk. It's not like that at all. It's it's, it's closer to Liverpool. We're Tom but... Cruise Irish right now. There you go. I, uh, I, sorry, I was actually very recently in Ireland, and I'm sorry, but there is nothing that made me have to stifle a giggle more than going to check into my hotel and them telling me, okay, you're on the third floor. The third floor. You're on the third floor. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm a child. The THs are more of a T sound. Yeah. That's uh, so funny, though. Don't anyone of any age, I think. Can enjoy but that. In terms of having him, you know, want to kill you, he only goes after people typically, uh, either if they've just pissed him off or if they have stolen any of his gold. Oh. Ah. I think I'm fine then. I don't think I would. I'm I mean, very polite. I'm not... And he is weak to four leaf clovers. Oh. So if you have one of those, the power of Christ compels you I as I hold it. I wallet at all times, so I'm good. Yeah, like as, as long as you can touch him with it. Uh, I think in one of the movies he ends up having like some other weird mystical weakness. It's been a long time since I've watched any of the Leprechaun movies, but I have seen all of them. Also, Jesse, it's kind of the opposite of the power of Christ compels you. It's more the power of paganism compels you. With the ah, Lord, ah. But, yeah. yeah, religion. Michael Myers. Oh. OG Stab Daddy. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. About that life? I don't feel good about it. I'm not proud, that's for sure. He's just a nice man. He's just going around wandering. Yeah, he's the, the Slayer and the Shatner mask, man. Yeah. Like, just... the, like you said earlier, the dumb ones pound the hardest. I feel like he's, he's probably 
Yeah, no, he, oh my God. He, he is pure and simple. Like his entire concept is just, he's just evil. Just evil. Also, you look into his just, eyes, it's the eyes of a shark. Just is, to be clear, he would not smash you. He hates sex. Oh, yeah. He hates he, sex? Oh, he very much sex. so. He, he's, oh. he's, he's like, he's literally stabbed his sister to death after she f***ed a dude. Oh, never mind. He's slut shamey, but I think if the, the context of this is smash, so like if you wanted to have sex with me, then I, mean, I would have. Enough. Well, okay, if he well, then, did, I yes, I would. Well, uh, yeah. I this, like this, is, this is this is a hypothetical. You're okay. in a situation, and, and, and the hypothetical situation where suddenly he's horny, we have a conversation. He's like, you know, maybe I've been, you know, I've been, I've been a little judgmental. Uh, let's try it. Let's you, know, I, I, you know, I've been prudish for too long. Maybe, oh, maybe no. if I just try it, then. Or he specifically <laughs> hates straight sex. Maybe mm. yes. He's a he's he's an ally. Just Wait, more you, gay murderers. Are you telling me he's never killed a gay person in all of these movies? I Give me a sec. So. I don't think gay people exist in Halloween. Wow. Uh, wow. No. Okay. And they no, love no. Halloween. Hold up, hold up. He absolutely has. He's killed oh. two. Oh. Uh, in, 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 yeah, in the Gordon Green movies. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, he is, he is absolutely. I'm, I, I am trying to think back to if he had done it beforehand, though, and that, that's harder because th those movies get weird. I they get very weird. They get two reboots weird. How, yeah, uh, in the Rob Zombie one, it's kind of unclear. Although, uh, Rob Zombie ones, I, I don't know if we count those. Uh, I am a Michael Myers defender because okay. I think I was watching the first movie. He's just going around staring at people. And I don't think anything's wrong with that. Just, they decided he's just to be a mean. voyeur. Yeah, he just he's, likes to watch. I'm just, I'm just thinking of Dr. Lewis in the second one. I shot him six times. Six times. Six times. Six times. So funny. I shot him six times. He's OG. He's he's honestly like one of my favorite horror characters. He's he's got that iconic look. Uh, oh yeah. I, I wouldn't fuck him, uh, but you know he's. He's Michael Goddamn Myers. I will say, when I was a kid, I actually got him and Jason Voorhees mixed up too often. Like the names, because like, there were two mass killers. Yeah, I, I had that problem for a while. I also had the problem where I could not, for the life of me, stop mixing up Matt Damon and Brad Pitt. Oh. I, I, honestly, yeah, I, I, I could see that. I think I had a similar thing. Like, I, I, I figured out how to shift those fairly early, but for a while, when they were making the same kinds of movies at the same time, yeah. Mm. I still get the mass killers confused, if I'm honest. Like, if you, I have to rearrange them. I'm like, wait, which one is Jason? Yeah, Jason is Hockey Mask. Hockey Mask. Yeah, but uh, Liver That die. seems like a Jason thing, a guy yeah. named Jason. Liver, <laughs> plays hockey. Liver Die with Michael Myers? Again, this really depends on which movies we're talking about. Yeah. If we're talking about Halloween 8, where, uh, was, was it, uh, was it Coolio or Exhibit? I think it was, uh, oh God. <laughs> which rapper just roundhouse kicked him into an electric, was this H2O? Fence. No, oh, this is okay. eight. This is the one after H2O. Oh, okay. I will defend H2O. I love H2O. I couldn't tell you. I, I know a little bit. I don't know a lot. I can't. I can't remember. I, I think. I think it was Coolio. X all, gonna give it to you. <laughs> all I know is he, he gets like no. It was Busta Rhymes. It was Busta Rhymes who roundhouse kicks him into a like just just a, a, a wall of electric implements and that's what finishes him in that movie and it's the dumbest goddamn movie i love that I, I went and i saw it when it first came out i was so pissed off the theater smelled yeah. like the theater smelled like puke it was the worst <laughs> movie going experience i've had until i saw the movie 42 so i guess that means could you take buster in his prime <sighs> no probably not also, I forgot that you've seen movie 42. Yeah, I have. I, I, I feel like I, I hate it. Oh my God. Everyone forgets that. Or was for, it 43? I no, 42. Okay, movie, 42. Everyone forgets movie 42 existed. And we should, but I'm not, I, now I'm reminding all of you, movie 42 existed. And if you don't know what that is, watch it. The watch it the trailer and then watch the movie. Just, the funniest part of that movie was Will Sasso's part. And that should tell you something. Uh, I saw a disaster movie in a theater. I oh. paid money for that experience. There was someone laughing really loudly at every joke that wasn't funny. <laughs> oh no. That made it worse. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, yes, Britney Spears is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy. Uh, live or die with Michael Myers. Probably die. It's, it's die. A, if we're going by Gordon Green continuity, I could probably live. Uh, if we're going by OG continuity, God, he's another one of those like 
he only fucking walks. He never runs. True. Like, if, if you That's get down true. an open street and you just book it, you're probably getting away from him for a while. But, unless you are his target. But you can't kill this dude. He just does not die. I shot him six times! Six <laughs> times! Six times! I got some video game characters here. Nemesis! Uh, I'm gonna have to say no. Who's he from? This is from Resident, e Resident Evil 3. Yeah, Resident Evil 3. Uh, I mean, this particular still is from Dead by Daylight because it was the best picture I could find. No, that's, that's fair, yeah. I'm gonna say no. He, he, it feels like he's too far gone and too, like, too necrotic. Mm. He's also, he is also kind of brain controlled. Yeah, I don't like it. But what if you had the controls to his brain? No, still no. <laughs> really, not, with, not even with that too, little whippy? Too, too gross, I'm sorry, he's too, too gross. gross. He's too gross, I, I wouldn't be able to get into it. He's too gross. He would make this noise. Well, that's not the problem. And then he would, and then he would like lean down into your ear and just go, stars. That's my cup noise. <laughs> <laughs> that's his cup noise too. Twins. It's all he does. <laughs> it's also his safe word. <laughs> it's really awkward. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, your safe word would have to be stars, because like he, like. Oh yeah, yeah. He, no, no. He's he's going. He he is absolutely the dominator in any of these scenarios. I don't know. I think he's spending a lot of his time. He's active. already all bagged up. I, I'm just saying he's spending all of this time having to, uh, you know, kill all these people, kill all these uh, cops, you know, destroy all of Raccoon City. Maybe he just wants someone to take care of him. All right. Maybe he doesn't have to think. Maybe he wants to be the passive. He'd in absolutely bed. grab you by the back of the head, though. Oh yeah, he would. Yeah. I like this narrative of him being a bottom, though. <laughs> I'm very interested it's very in that. It's a very sensitive nemesis. Yeah, that always happens where you get like a really big, strong dude. You take him to bed. You're like, I'm gonna get pounded, and then he's like ready to be the little oh spoon. Oh my god! Let Every time. Spoon. Every <laughs> time. Be my jetpack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it! I'll do it. But like, I am a switch by necessity now, yo. Yeah. Sometimes you want to be the little spoon, and I think that's okay. That's it's okay fair. to want to feel somebody pressed against you. That's fair. Bro. I've been single for too long. But. <laughs> Is that a tentacle? Yes. That is in fact a tentacle. Oh yeah, no, trust uh, me. You get into this, you're in for everything. It gets wild yeah, with this mother. Uh, live or die, absolutely dying. There's oh, no yeah, yeah. chance in hell I'm surviving against Nemesis if he is after me. Yeah, no, yeah. Like the only reason that, um, that uh, Jill. Wow. Jill, Jill Valentine even lives at all is because he keeps toying with her and she keeps getting the weapons necessary to kill him. Yeah, and I don't have Special ops training. <laughs> I would pass on the sex and I'd also die. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. I will say, I will say, if he weren't as necrotic, maybe. Well, the, the G virus, is it, I think, I think he's still, no, he's a Titan. He's a T virus. Uh, it, it actually isn't necrotic. It's just extra growth. I'm just gonna uh, say he, it's too gross. It's just too gross. But he's got extra growth. All right. Nick Never oh, Cage wait. from Mandy. Wait, no. Huh? Please don't say any spoilers about this. I really I'm really... not going to spoil Mandy. I'm just <laughs> saying Nick Cage from Mandy. I mean, yeah. look, I'm going to guess with Nick Cage, okay? I just haven't seen Mandy, but it's real good. I yeah. highly recommend Mandy. Uh, I, I honestly don't know how much I could say that could spoil it, but I'm... when we're just discussing his character from Mandy, I don't need to spoil anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've seen 15 minutes of the movie, and from what I've seen, He's a good guy, so I would like it. It has, some, like it has some of his best acting I've ever seen from him. Yo, Nick Cage in the last five, 10 years, like has just ballooned up from being a guy who you like to see in the theater because it's fun to, oh sh I really want to see what he does with this. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen Pig yet, but Mandy, oh. Mandy is my favorite Nick Cage movie. You right haven't now. seen Pig yet? Not yet. Oh, you should see Pig. Yeah, Pig yeah, was yeah, real yeah, good. We, we need to have a Nick Cage-a-thon at some point. We should. I want to hear Nick's impression of Nick Cage having sex. Oh yeah? You want it? You want the cage? You want it? Huh? You like my talent? I want to be the little spoon. <laughs> it's like That's I was exactly there. What I was looking for. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Just said that in, a, like, put a demo reel no, on your site, and that's it. There's no other anything else. Well, I, I can show you this. Going back to that one episode of Community with Ops, like, just, uh, yeah, that's gonna be the YouTube short to promote this, maybe. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> just that, just that. Amazing. Yes. I'm not gonna spoil, but uh, as a character, he's he's one of those like intellectual like survivalist types. Uh, it, it's implied that he's like an ex-soldier. He's like very handy. 
He's uh, well read, and he's sensitive. I think I'd die. <laughs> yeah, he, he'd, he'd kill the shit out of me. Okay. Well, but he, if he's sensitive, I think he would spare me at the last moment if he could. But if he has to kill me, he's gonna kill me. Yeah, if, if, if I were the one who wronged him in this, I'm dead. Mm. No doubt in my mind. I would never hurt him though. Nick Cage, I would, I would never hurt you. I would never do the things that happened to him in this movie. All right, well, I mean, it sounds like then by virtue of us probably never being once to wrong him, we would live. But if we were to in fact wrong him, it would be over. So. Yeah, or, or if he went, or, or if he was just drug crazed, uh, ah. like that. <laughs> I will see Mandy. I really want to. It's really good. I will see Mandy and Pig. Also, I think I have another picture of him. Here you go. Hell yeah! I thought that was like I mean, Ash for actually, a second. This, that's is, this, the, is the, this is like one of the most famous shots from. Yeah, him. that's the one that I have seen the most. Mm. I, I, oh man, I just I love the color, like you know the the way his teeth and eyes just pop with the red. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a crazy shot. I love it. I know I said. Michael Myers was the OG slash daddy. Uh, but here we have Norman Bates from Psycho. Okay, super no, super no. This dude is, this dude gets under way too under my skin. Super no. Well, he probably wouldn't with you anyway. And if he did, he'd probably immediately kill a lot of people because he's, he's got some things going on. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't uh, know anything about him, but I think he's handsome. Yeah, it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of his like, uh, a boyish, down home, humble appeal is is what makes him kind of that like. Yeah. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Yeah. He's another mama's boy. <laughs> kind of the OG mama's oh, boy. Oh no, I love men who hate their moms, so it's not gonna work out. <laughs> Look, what I meant earlier is I just don't <laughs> dig guys who obsess over their mothers. Okay. He absolutely That's does. That's fair. And, and this guy absolutely does. Maybe, maybe not quite. God, actually, it's kind of hard between him and Jason, who does more. Uh, who loves their mom more? Yeah, yeah. Who who loves their mother more? Norman, tell us in the comments. Norman Bates or Jason Voorhees? Well, who loves their mom more? It's probably Jason. Who obsesses about their mother more? That's the question. Yeah, I was about to say. I wouldn't, because he wouldn't. Like he he absolutely would not. He's he's got way too much going on. Survive or not? Uh, again, it's a matter of if I see him coming, because he's another one of those like. Chameleon killers. He's yeah. he, like he he surprises you with it basically, and just kind of like attacks you out of nowhere in an ambush. I probably lose in that one. Uh, that said, I think like I, I feel like I could take Norman Bates in a fight. Mm. Does he just kill with like a knife, or is there any? Uh, in the original, it's mostly a knife. Yes. Uh, he pushes a dude down a stair downstairs at some point, but he also stabs him at one point as well. Okay. Uh, I think I'd die. <clears throat> I have no idea. Yeah, I, it's almost always a knife, though. Yeah, I, I probably would die, if only just because I would probably not see it coming. Unless I, if I knew who this guy was, I would immediately be like, peace, yeah. I'm out, later. Yeah, it's, it's one of those wouldn't... things where if you know they're a killer, you're never going to be in that situation to begin with. Yeah, but like... If I did not know, he could be like, back, the, his entire thing is that he catches you by surprise and then kills you. Yeah. So, yeah. but if a one on one fight, it might be a little more even. I'm not a fighter though. So that's, that's the worst part for me in all of these is like, I just am not a fighter. Yeah. And now if it's a psychological thing, might be better off. He seems determined. <laughs> as, as long as you don't like, uh, as long as you don't sexually arouse him or uh, discover anything about his mother, usually you're safe. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, and, and also, fun fact about him: one of the few reformed murderers on the list. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And I think it's—is it three or four? It's two, I think. Is it two? It's literally two, I think. Wow. I thought I thought there was like another sequel where it was like this. This got some really there random some, sequels. Like, Twenty or thirty years later, like some psycho. Yeah, where, where like, like he calls in, where he calls into like a, a psychologist hotline on like a radio show or something. Well, no, no he go, he went to jail after the first movie, comes back, yeah. and he's cured. <laughs> That's how jail works. One, one of the, I, I, I know, I, I, think, I think it might be like the third one where it's like a prequel then or the fourth one, I don't know. But this one just got random sequels just out of nowhere. The sequels that feel wrong. They, they, some of them definitely Even do. They are interesting, at least Psycho 2 is interesting. Yeah. The Nun from The Nun. Nope. And The Nun 2. Nope. And The Conjuring 2. Nope. I'll pass also. Nope. I had to put her on yes, here. Like Catholic stuff. Yeah, I went to Catholic school, so I'm 
I'm used to nuns yelling at me. I just don't want it to be in a sexual <laughs> Yeah, this was another one where I think I had an alternate picture as well, which where it was just like, you know, the, the creepy stare. Like, this is one of the coolest looking monsters in recent history. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, there she is. I don't, yeah. I don't like the teeth. Got, 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 got a great look as like a scary, but yeah, too stern. Uh, like, definitely. A nun stern? Smile more, babe. <laughs> yeah. Well, then again, you look back at the teeth. It's like, ah. Uh, never mind. Ah. That's what you should do. Ladies, if someone tells you to smile, like, Just, ah. Keep vampire. Keep fucked up teeth in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd pass as well. Uh, this, this is a, you know, immediate swipe away kind of deal. Yeah. Would uh, you die? Would I die? That really fucking depends. Her powers are, actually, their powers, they're, they're a demon, so it's really kind of gender fluid. I don't fucking know. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, their powers are super inconsistent. Uh -huh. In the second movie, like the opening is like, you know, just benign, like th their power just allows them to incinerate a person on the spot. But they never show the use of that insta kill power ever again. Like they snap a guy's, it's really inconsistent with how the nun kills. So uh, it's, it's, it's a real crapshoot. It depends on how important I am to the nun's plot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where do I fit in in the movie? Uh, but if, if the nun really wants me dead, I'm dead. Okay. I think, yeah, I think she's- Supernatural shit is really hard to deal with. Patrick Bateman. Don't American. eat my penis. <laughs> He's gonna eat my penis. <laughs> don't eat Jesse's penis, Patrick Bateman. Don't do it. Don't do and it. Don't like music that he doesn't like. And yeah. don't get re don't get a better business card than him. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's he's probably the pettiest killer on this list. Very he's insecure. <laughs> he's an American psycho. But he's also Christian Bale. He's also like in very like, intentionally like, yeah. super hot in the movie. Yeah, it pro uh, probably the best looking Christian Bale. But but that being said, he's also plastic as fuck, and that's like by intent. There's an idea of a Patrick Bateman. Yeah, there's like Would everything. Would you f the idea of a Patrick Bateman? <sighs> no. Really? You wouldn't no, the idea no. of a Patrick Bateman. Pa Patrick Bateman, even even the idea of Patrick Bateman is still like this hyper capitalist asshole. Yeah, hyper capitalist, hyper uh, like hyper machismo. Okay, like, me, me, meet him meet him at the bar though, and he's he's putting the moves on you. Guy looks like that, putting the moves on you. You don't know that he's a murderer. You don't know what he does for a living. He would get okay. me. All right, no, no, I'm gonna say this. Guy like that is putting the moves on me at the bar. I feel like I'm in danger. Okay. I feel like there's something wrong and I need to like go find a friend. Also, there's no way his move isn't talking about how much money he makes. Oh, also that. that I mean, he's more likely to just like go out and buy a prostitute as he does in the movie. Like if he yeah. just wants to get that done uh, or feed a cat to an ATM, you know. But he does, he does get with girls that he knows though in the movie. It's true. So he does both. Yeah, like he, he's, he's got moves. Yeah, I'm gonna say nah. He's got pretty good musical yeah. taste too. I mean, again, blisteringly hot, but still nah. The, the problem with him and like you know the commentary of the movie. It, again, one of those movies I saw like last year and was like, oh, this is a really good movie. I didn't oh, yeah. know this was a good movie. Yeah, it turns um, out good movies are uh, good. <laughs> good movies. Yeah, right. That's crazy. Yeah. I thought it was just a meme. Um, the problem with him is he exists even today. So I love mo movies with monsters that are like people, because yeah. it's like. Not like the yeah. Huey Lewis in the news, though. Fucking deal breaker. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Christian Bale in his prime is absolutely going to kill me, especially if he's ambushing me. Yeah. Yes. Tim Curry is Pennywise the clown. Mm. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's my noise. Yeah. <laughs> that no, I mean like super no. Like, no on at every single level. Again, Kaiser just not down for the clussy. No, I no don't. Clum, no clum, no clussy. I guess, I guess this would be cleanest. Click. I mean, no, no, the, the, the clussy also includes the, the- It implies the existence of a cleanus. It's, it, my I mean, yes, there's, there's a cleanus. Oh, don't you want to fuck my boosy? <laughs> my clock. <laughs> I was thinking about asking Pennywise if all, all his partners come he goes, oh yes, like. They're all come. I I don't think I this Pennywise. I don't know actually if I'd I the I have the Pennywise. other one on here. Yeah. 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 My my answer maintains, and I also think I wouldn't die to them. I don't think I'd this one, but this is more fixable than the Tim Curry one, just because of the facials. <laughs> I don't. It, okay, you you're you're. I I want to point out that you're all skipping over a very important factor. Yeah. Shapeshifter. 
is a shapeshifter. It is is a, a shapeshifter and is actually an interdimensional spider. But only into your fears. True. Yeah. Um, Fuck. I wouldn't yeah. be able to come. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no. But he actually he's shape shifted in order to like so like to manipulate people before, not necessarily he, into their fears, but then he he's like, he, he goes toward the fear, but he starts with approachable. He can't come if you're not screaming. Look, he the yeah. reason he's a clown is because all kids love clowns. It's in order to like you know of course, lure them. Yeah, yeah. All kids. everybody loved clowns. Otherwise, who are clowns for? <laughs> Pedophiles. <laughs> Another allegory. Anyway. No, I, I genuinely, I don't think that I would uh, fuck him at all, ever. Bill uh, Skarsgård, on the other hand. He's the man without the makeup. Do you, th do you think you'd make him do the eye thing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, again, again. Uh, I, I believe I'd Drool. absolutely survive Pennywise. I Actually, wait, hold on. Is Pennywise, I think, I think Pennywise is technically female. Is Pennywise? Pennywise is an interdimensional spider beast. Well, I yeah, but technically a female interdimensional spider beast, if I remember correctly. I never read the books. I don't know. I I actually cannot. I don't think the movie ever implies as such. And I would not like to assume an interdimensional beast's gender. Uh, all, all, I, all, all I know is that there's a turtle. I would not fuck Pennywise, and I think I'd live. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm beyond the point where I am a potential victim for Pennywise to begin with. Like they go for children because they are easier to scare and you know, more prone to being fucking stupid. Uh, but if he turns into student debt, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm dead. Commitment. I, I don't know, how does he turn into crippling loneliness? Like is, is that a thing he can do? He's, Just, he's branching out, he'll find a way. Uh, find a way. The only horror monster I know of that can be defeated by um, questionable orgies. Yeah, true. The only one that could be killed by I wonder why people they fucking in a sewer. Yeah. yeah. Why did they get rid of that scene? questionable gangbangs, all things considered. I think I'd survive if I had other friends. Like if if I was in a group if, if, of if, other if you had if friends. Had, if I had friends. With. Yeah. There if you I go, could exactly. fuck people in front of Pennywise, I'd win. Uh oh. He also hates. But that. he has to watch. <laughs> he has That's to. important. And he's to going me. no, no. I wouldn't have sex with Pennywise. <laughs> No. I wouldn't have sex with Pennywise, but I do want Pennywise to watch. Yes. <laughs> he has to sit in that chair. Sit in the cluck chair. No, I can't you like it. <laughs> He'll be making like balloon animals out of condoms. I think it'd be a great time. Yeah. <laughs> this is Pinhead from the uh, most recent. Oh, oh, when they went woke, that. right. Yeah, sure. I don't uh, like it. <laughs> I don't like change, even though Pinhead is actually depicted as a female in the books, but. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's not my no Pinhead. It's not accurate. Hashtag uh, not my Pinhead. <laughs> technically, name isn't actually Pinhead. Uh, it, it, it's, it's actually like, I believe they're just listed as the lead Cenobite uh -huh. or the Cenobite prophet. But uh, their entire deal is that they want to find that zone where they inflict so much pain that it becomes pleasure. And at that point, you're well on your way to becoming like them, a true angel. I think I'm good, but I, res I respect them. Uh, <laughs> do, did it include the other picture of the uh, other? Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, that is uh, the more, you know, uh, I guess famous Pinhead, the OG. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the more iconic one. Let's be honest. Uh, and that's my Pinhead. <laughs> yeah, I. One, he's one of my favorite killers in Dead by Daylight, just because uh, whenever anybody uses his puzzle box and he decides to teleport, uh, this this might be his come line. It's uh, <laughs> you opened the box. I came. Ah, yeah. So he's really into somebody with a good mind. That's such uh, a good come noise. That's yeah. amazing. You, I came. You opened Was the box. Was it good for you? <laughs> you opened the box. I came. He's also got a great voice. Uh, very, very smooth. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say, no thanks. Not, not, uh, in, not into the leather and chains? Uh, fine. Uh, like, again, I'm, I'm freaky. I'm not that freaky. Yeah. One of my lines in bed is blood. I don't like blood. So I think I would not be good for this person. Yeah, I gotta, I, I gotta agree with you there. Yeah. No blood and uh, no poop. It, no it, blood, no poop. But the thing is, uh, I mean, Pinhead, uh, like, you know, the Cenobites absolutely do kill people, but their goal isn't to kill. If, you, if you're shown to have a high pain tolerance, you're probably surviving, but you're not going to be the same. <laughs> so... Like the saw, man. Yeah, I, I think, I, I honestly think that I 
probably live. Huh. Yeah, if I were under attack, for like if, if I solved the lament configuration, which is also one of their weaknesses, you gotta solve the oh. puzzle box and then it... It's puzzles, I'm dead. <laughs> Cannot solve puzzles, you've seen Let's Not Plays with me. you're tortured. And... <laughs> they'll, they'll have seen you fail to make breakfast soon. Yes, so. butter. It's really hot. Oh, my finger hurts. No, no, no. That looks good. <laughs> Pinhead will look up Let's Plays of me on the internet and be like, I'll kill this bitch. <laughs> Easy. And you'll never open the box and he will never come. Yeah, he can't even play Zelda. <laughs> the oh, Predator. That's an amazing shot. Predator. I know. <laughs> I, I, I had to get one where you're seeing the muscles, even though this is from arguably one of the worst Predator movies. Okay. Probably the worst Predator movies. Here's, you know, another one where he's shooting. Like, like, like I've said before, lot of, lot of points. Oh, lot duh. Of point, lot of play on, 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 on points sides. My God. Jesus. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of, oh God, I don't want to call it Predator porn, but. <laughs> Predator porn. It's no, 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 wait, 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 FBI, wait, wait, open wait. up. I'm gonna say no, though. The face, it, I, I can't, I can't get over the face. I can't. He it's wears true. a mask. I mean, okay, look, if he has the mask on and I'm not going to die or other horrible things to me, there's a conversation to be had. But I don't know if I'd be able to if the mask were off. He also has a lot of toys, though most of those are for killing. So, I would pass on. So you're saying it's too ugly of a motherfucker. The ugly motherfucker. The ugly motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. I I'm gonna say I'm gonna say just no. I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna I, pass. I think I'm in the same boat as you. If the mask was on, there could be a conversation, but I think it would still end in me saying I don't think so. I I will say Predator is probably one of the sexiest movie monsters. Uh, not my type though. So I dig. Look, so I, nobody wants the Amanda pussy. I, well, yeah, like he, I think he's sexy. I just don't want to fuck him. Like that first picture, I was like, wow, oh, that's yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah, he's. I just don't want to fuck him. Yeah. I, also, I, are the, the, the tendrils, the hair, it's a good look. Like, he's with got the dreads, mask, I With the mask on, he's a fuck. He looks cool. He looks cool. He looks hot. But yeah, how many, how many holes open like that? Uh, we got one. Not enough. Just. <laughs> Predator, uh, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah super yeah. dead. Super dead. Predator wants me dead, I'm dead. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger at his best. Now the like, question is, if, am I a worthy enough hunt? No. Is, yeah, oh, fuck you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Fuck you, I'd hunt me. What? <laughs> would you hunt me? I'd would hunt, hunt me. Would you hunt me? I'd hunt me. I could be the most dangerous game. I think it'd be very fun to see this predator chase you, Nick. If they Thank you, Jesse. Yes, I would watch Thank that. Thank you. I'd watch that live stream. The, the real question is, you have a chance of survival. If you've seen Alien versus Predator, yeah. if you find a, a you know... A if, if I kill if, if I kill something that it respects me killing... Yeah, it, like, it might just be and, like, or, okay, or, cool, or Danny Glover in the second movie. If you just manage to best another one in combat, they all love you. I mean, you throw the Predator in the, in, in the concrete jungle, he's having more, more problems than he had before. Yeah, yeah. like, the, all, all this still comes down to you having to kill something that it would also want to kill, and... Apparently the other one is killing another one of these. So no, I like. Well, okay, and also, this is good con because Arnold Schwarzenegger died. But did Adrian Brody live? Uh, technically. Then you might have a chance. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> Although Adrian Brody in that movie was specifically like a spec ops, like you know, survival but ranger he's dude. Adrian Brody. He is Adrian Brody. Uh, he he did absolutely die in. Uh, oh God, what was that movie where he fucked an alien? The Splice. <laughs> oh, the pianist. The only one who can kill the predator is Chris Hansen with a stool. Do you have a seat over in that chair, please? Yes. Pyramid head. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. I'd yep. I'd, right. I'd honestly have a hard time saying no. <laughs> yeah. Would we die? Yeah. 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 No. One hundred. One thousand. Those, those, I'm sorry. Those arms are fucking goals, though. Yeah, yeah, that, mm, every yeah. part of him is insane. He's giant. And I'm sorry, the thing over his head. I mean, his entire thing is that he's like the main character's pent up sexual aggression. Yep. So now, you know he's unleashing. He can't yep. on top though, because that, that thing is so heavy. I was wondering, is that going to get in the way? If he's like fucking from behind, is it going to close? No, it, it, it won't get in the way. Like, as long as bear in mind, he's also like seven feet tall. Yep. Oh. And like just wields a, like carries around a cleaver. This motherfucker's oh. strong. Yeah, you're, I'm going to, look. If if it's it's I will die if he if if it is if he's coming after me it is very likely I'm going to die, but if we're if he's down to fuck beforehand let's fucking 
go! It'd be a little difficult for me. Like, I've the dude who was 6'8 once, and the configuration of our bodies was a little clunky. Did they have to lift you up, or did you have to, like, stand <laughs> on a milk carton? It was it was clunky enough that I was like, why don't we stop for a bit? Um, let's, so, <laughs> let's draw some diagrams and see how this will work yeah, let's logically. Fucking... So, I think it'd be difficult, but I would be very strong down. enough to actually, like, lift you and, yep. to, like, use yeah. you yep. as a yep. prop. That's so, high. there's there's that. Uh, that was my main goal for starting leg days. I was like, oh, <laughs> if I could lift someone, I, I, I ignored leg days for the longest time and was like, oh, yeah, I'll do it then. That was the only thing that took me starting to work out legs. Very vain like, and dumb. Pyramid Head's like nothing but muscle. Uh, that said, J uh, I think the character's name is James in the game. I, oh. I, I've actually never played Silent Hill 2. I know nothing about Silent Hills other than... Yeah, that's, that's about... Uh, yeah. Honestly, the like the most I've ever seen Pinhead is act or uh, Pyramid Head is actually in the awful, awful movies that I love. Well, wait, uh, that, both the, the of them. first one's not both bad. Of them. The first I love one, both of them. The though. first one's not that bad. The first one's first, not... one, first one's okay. Second one's awful. Oh, yeah, I love yeah. it. Second Which one's uh, movies? Uh, uh, the they, they made Silent Hill movies. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They, they came out when we were teenagers. Ah, uh, that's why. Yeah. yeah. It's a nutsy. Not, not uh, you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop being young. Um, the young ones in the room. The youngins. The young 30 year olds. Yeah, the younger 30s. Haha, <laughs> you're so old. Oh, my back. Mm -hmm. uh. He's very slow, but like most of the time, like the, the entire thing about Silent Hill is like it, it traps you in like spaces that are uncomfortably like not. And he just needs to get you once. Yeah, he, he only, like honestly, if I get slapped by that cleaver one time, I'm fucking dead. I don't have it. I don't have a video game health bar. Right. You know? yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I would die. Yeah. Chop me in half and like, you know, he'd split you in two and then finish the job the other yep. way. Hell yeah. Okay. Nope. Uh, this is, okay. Sadako <laughs> from Ringu. Uh, although I think this is actually from The Ring, which case it's Samara. Okay. Sorry, for um, a second I was like, what? And I'm like, oh, you're gay. I was like, why uh, so fast? I mean, I'm also going to say no because she's a child. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how old is this character? She's just oh, no. a woman or a child. That was a trick. Uh, yeah, uh, honestly, like, she's also just a placeholder for any Onryu-type character, like the chick from The Grudge as well. They're, oh, they're, all they're kind different. Of the same long hair and yeah, yeah, like, look, spirit type. Le yeah, let's make this the catch-all, in which case, no across the board, and yeah, you're gonna die. They've literally shown there's, like, no way out of these uh, honest, scenarios. Honestly, uh, there are ways out of the scenarios, but you have to figure out exactly what the goddamn thing wants. Uh, you have to email 10 of your friends. Yeah, uh, you, you, gotta, you gotta get that chain letter going. And sometimes that only makes it worse <laughs> if you believe the sequels. Uh, so probably dying because I'm, I'm, I'm not studious enough to figure out the shit. And I would probably take the original thing as a goddamn prank and then I'd get strangled to death by the TV girl. Yeah, no fuck and die. I, I will say, I was so pissed off at the American Grudge movie. She leaves the house and it pulls her back in. Yeah, uh, like, I mean, it's almost shot for shot for the Japanese one, I remember. It, pulling her back Wait, in? No, the, se the second movie is almost shot for shot. Never mind. Yeah, no, like, pulling her back in is not how that works. That is bullshit. I was so mad about that. That's you like you broke the rules, you can't, Grudge Lady. You can't break the rules of your horror of, of your horror unless she unless, makes the rules, motherfucker. Unless breaking the rules is part of the plot, in which case it, it feels cheap. Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, that said, uh, I just want to tell my like the ring story because it got ruined for me uh -oh. uh, the first time I saw it. Uh, my mom took me to see it like the night it like the weekend it came out. She was in the mood for horror movie. I love horror movies. Uh, we're sitting there, and you know, like that first shot where you see like the first victim in the closet when they just like, like flash cut to it with like a sting, and she's just sitting there like <sighs> three rows back from me, a man just yells out, God "Damn!" And I couldn't stop giggling for the rest of the movie. There's a, there's a horse jumping into like the. The, the fucking river getting like ripped up by a boat and I was like, God damn. <laughs> yep. God damn. It, 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 it changed the whole vibe of the movie for me from that point forward. All I could hear is, God damn. That's funny though. At least someone didn't like throw up on your shoes or yeah. something. <laughs> it was definitely a better experience than watching Halloween 8. I'll say that. No, too young. Yes, I'll die. <laughs> Well, technically she's, you know, an immortal ghost being, but we're not crossing that threshold. I'm not going into anime dragon kid logic. She's a thousand years she's old! Thousand years she's old. Right Back to Chucky. Oh, damn. Here we are. I believe the kids call this one a short stack. Yes, this, uh, honestly, Bracky, all about, you know. Short stack, yeah. yeah look, this, look, here's the funny thing. The Chucky doll, obviously a child. Mm -hmm. That is... 
a small woman. That is a small woman. Which yeah. I guess and makes... And is also anatomically correct. Yeah. yeah and, and breedable. Yeah. <laughs> Not submissive. No. Okay, I got it down. Also, voice by Jennifer Tilly. Voice by Jennifer Tilly. Which I'll be honest, it really, it Jennifer Tilly's voice, very good. I, yes. I, I, yeah. I loved Jennifer Tilly's voice. I also I, like Jennifer Tilly. Whatever happened to Jennifer Tilly? She's, she's in the Chucky show. It. She is? She yeah, she's, she's in the show. All the time. Oh, right, she's in the show. Yeah. Yeah. Holy and, shit. And she plays a lot of poker. There was actually, uh, in the seed of Chucky, or maybe it was like the uh, the curse of Chucky, I can't remember, but like one, there was a massive plot point where they wanted human bodies back, and uh, Tiffany decided that she wanted to be in the body of Jennifer Tilly. <laughs> Ah, that's yeah. good. That's good. That movie's insane. It's, it's, I love it. It's fucking bizarre. I don't like the boobs. I'm sorry. Of course I, you don't. I keep... A gay man doesn't like boobs. That's crazy, dude. <sighs> I think they're awesome. I th so Look at me. I like tits, all right? It's just... Great pride. <laughs> God. Look, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not about that doll life, but that, I, you know, I'd work with that. Uh... If that's alive, and consenting, I would, I'd, I'd have a hard time saying no if I am honest. It might just be the one time. It might be the one time. I would want. It may not be as fun as you. As I would be. never have felt as big in my life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just... <laughs> That's a big advantage. I, I <laughs> hadn't considered that. Honestly, yeah. I, if she was alive and talking to me and had Jennifer Tilly's voice, I think I would really want to. But I don't think I would be able to finish. I think I would. It just be in a doll. No. Can, canonically, it would feel like plastic. Hmm. Uh, that that really depends. That really depends because remember. As Chucky stays in the doll's body for longer, you know, he has muscles, he has blood. So it really depends on how long, je like, you know, yeah. the soul's so, been so in there. She become flesh. Yeah, part, like the, in, the inner parts become flesh. They were able to have a child. That's true. Yeah, yeah. There are flesh lights. Yeah. No. There are flesh lights that can get warm. There are automated ones too. Yeah. yeah. I use those, so I would, yeah, I would I've seen sure. other people sponsored by them. I'd make that commercial. <laughs> Anyone out there? <laughs> There's somebody out there. Flashlight, hit us up. We're gonna get demonetized, please. <laughs> please. Oh my god. I cannot imagine how oh, this- Oh, this is gonna get censored to shit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Undoubtedly. You, and if you want the uncensored version, go to Patreon. Go to Patreon for uncensored, yeah. yeah. Suck it, future uh, Jesse who has to edit this. Yeah. Now, when it comes to living or dying, she's actually like, m uh, funny enough, more clever than Chucky when it comes to setting up traps. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, if she wanted me dead, like she, she'd do some real like conniving shit. She'd cut my brake lines and then fill my uh, airbags with nails. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the question is, would you survive the initial trick that she does on you, and then like, you know, beat up a doll, you know, in order to live I, through? I, I could beat the doll. Yeah. But you know. It, I'd have a hard, I'd have a hard time. I don't want to hit Jennifer Tilly. So yeah, I don't want to hit Jennifer Tilly either. either. But if Jennifer Tilly's coming at me and like trying to kill me, I'd, I'd defend myself. Uh, I could, I could beat the doll, but I would absolutely fall into a trap. Hmm. I think I'd survive. I'd get really fucked up by whatever trick she's gonna pull on me first. But I think if we're going by the logic of those movies, I could do it. I think I'd live. That's just yeah. another shot. Does it change anything? No! Do anything for you? No? <laughs> Remember what I said earlier about there being a lot of porn? Yeah, no, uh, this is Geiger's penis monster. Also, uh, this is a really cool shot of the alien. Unfortunately, like, it's from Alien Covenant, but it is probably the best shot of the alien, other than the one with jazz hands. I love jazz hands, alien. <laughs> Ridley knows how to shoot. This is the perfect life form. It's a hive mind mentality where this thing is basically a bug that is going to serve its queen, and if you are on the menu, it's gonna do its damnedest to get at you, and it will swarm you. Are we considering the acid fluids? Uh, it's only the blood. The fluids, the blood. like the, the saliva, not acidic. Okay, but it doesn't burn, doesn't it? No. No? Okay. No, the, the saliva is just goo. I thought it did. I, I, I'm, I'm mistaken. I'm, I might be mistaken, but I don't recall the saliva ever being used. In fact, in order to escape a prison in Alien 4, uh, a bunch of the aliens gang up on another one in order to burn their way out. If they could just do that with their spit, they would have. Mm. I'm gonna say no. 
Would, wouldn't fuck the penis monster? I'm gonna say no, and I would absolutely die. I don't know if it's capable of fucking, no matter how much porn there is out there. Yeah, that's also true. I have no idea. I, I In don't fact, the only way we know yeah. it procreates is the fact that the queen lays an egg, and then you get, like, throat fucked by a <laughs> bat with a massive egg well, tube. There is the alternate version of them procreating. There is that. Uh, I mean, then, of course, there's the... Uh, Human alien hybrid that's created in the third movie, fourth movie, fourth movie, well, I'd say Resurrection. Yeah. If we're talking about the David Fincher one, that's the third one. The third one is in the prison, yeah. Yeah, Alien Squared. Uh, and, and, and yeah, like we, Ridley has them just like, can just like give birth to the queen. Yeah, like the, the colony needed a new queen, so they did like the bee thing where one just had to be born. Yeah, yeah so I... there's that. The yeah. bees recognize their queen. Is that. Technically, make Ridley a kind of xenomorph. In the fourth movie, she is actually. Yeah. So, does that change the question? If you're, being we're confused? only talking about like the okay, okay, the xenomorph double mouth. No technicalities here. Yeah. Uh, that's saying it could eat your ass from the inside. I'm good. I'm good on that too. Just <laughs> throwing that out there though. <laughs> and would die. Oh yeah. Uh, if 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 I would. Die. One of these is hunting me. I'm fucked. Yeah. Cause, what's so the what's to exactly what's what's the what's what is my ultimate defense here? Uh, I don't know. Like I'd have to be in space. Maybe I could trick it into an airlock. I don't know. But you can seduce it. Yeah, it's way smarter than you anticipate it being. Mm. Uh, it has very good sense of hearing because it can't see shit. And like that, look at look how ripped it is. Like that thing's strong. It it is going to take you down. And as soon as it's got you, it just fucking goes. Ripped Lee. I would need weapons. I would need the smart gun from aliens to deal with this shit. Or a flamethrower. It is it is afraid of fire. Like if I had a flamethrower, I could at least scare it off for a little bit. But yeah. as soon as it's got the jump on me, I'm dead. Yeah. Flamethrowers would solve a lot of these guys. Somewhat related question. Would you go back for the cat? Yes. For Jonesy, yeah. Like, I'd, I'd do my damnedest to save Jonesy, even though Jonesy's never in any danger from this thing. Thecatlives.com. That is me. And uh, Always go back. If, if this is in alphabetical order, I don't think there's anything after the Xenomorph, but... Yeah, no, no, no. Then that completes Slasher Pass. Oh, yeah. Wow. Let us know your list down below. Which, 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 which of these is the most breedable? Uh, and, and which of them, you know... Do you think you have the best chance of surviving against? We have talked about a lot of things today. <laughs> a lot of things. And we're glad that you joined us on this journey. Yeah, and we found out things about each other. We learned a lot about ourselves and each other today. And that's the scariest thing that, of all. Yeah, self-discovery. Happy Halloween! Yeah, self-discovery <laughs> is the scariest journey of them all. Happy Halloween. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh.